Hey guys, Jason the X at the North Texas Comic Book Show. Of course, we're just seeing all kinds of people we know around here. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me at the table is Mr. PJ Lewis, a party girl. What's yes. going on, man? Not much. Just I, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. Great costume. Ah, oh, thank, thank you. Sweet Christmas, was, man. Sweet Christmas indeed. Had to do had to do the old school Luke Cage. I did. I was trying to. to I wanted to do something different because I didn't want to be you know Batman 456 or you know something like that. So I wanted something that was. Not too obscure, but something that people would know. And then I saw, actually, what motivated me was I saw these uh, these chains on, on like a Halloween uh, uh -huh. rack at Walmart, and I was like, "Dude, Luke Cage, like old school." I was like, "I can do it." It looks great. Uh, I, it's good to get into the spirit of like coming to this. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, which, you've been doing a lot of promotion for Party Girl, mm -hmm. which we talked to you on the show about. Yeah. Been attending a lot of conventions. I've seen because we're actually Facebook friends. We mm -hmm. I see the pictures you post. How's it been going? Good. What's been it's, the reception? Um, it's a, a positive. Everybody we've talked to that's that's checked it out has liked it, and that's been the the big thing or the big push now is, is just trying to get more you know more eyeballs on the show and just to do more than just you know a tweet here and a Facebook you know like or share over there, and um, to really get out amongst the people, really explain the show. You know, I have the computer there showing clips and, and teasers and, and full episodes as well from season one, and people can really get a, a a full, um, be fully informed about the show. Well, it's kind of like the best way. I mean, you're the one that's explaining it to them, yeah. so there you go. And you are working hard at that, too, I got to tell you. I'm trying to, trying you're to. You're attending a lot of things. I, I mean, I've seen you around here just like, oh, hey, have you heard about Party Girl? Oh, you haven't? Let me tell you about it. You're almost like, you're like a, a good Jehovah Witness. <laughs> Trying to be. I'm joking. Okay, so since the last time we talked to you, you guys were on set. You guys were filming. Mm -hmm. um, we've gotten two more episodes since then, right? We've well, all of season one is online. Season one's online now. Yes. What episode were we have when we talked to you? I forget. I forget which one you were filming that night. Uh, that was some season two stuff. It, I mean, it could have been one of a number of things. I was wondering what that was. No, I wanted, it was, was my fault. I think it was mine? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, That's the mine. power of editing. Yeah. I'll just leave it in there. <laughs> no, that was... Um, it could have been um, any number of episodes because, you know, we do the block scheduling you know, shooting where even like tomorrow we're going to shoot uh, for about four or five hours and covering about three or four different episodes. Oh, so you just got better organization. I'm sorry. I, I get that. You know what you're shooting at, whereas I'm kind of disorganized. So. Okay. How, of course, um, like we're talking to our friends over here. Uh, with uh, Wet Paint Productions and getting or getting cast members organized, because you use a lot of working actors as well. They're they're in a number of things. Yeah. Uh, how has the coordination with getting everybody together been? Oh, I love it. I love this question. <laughs> it's been tough. In some cases, I mean, sometimes it's been okay. Sometimes it's been brutal as far as getting everybody, everybody together because everybody's working in, in 50 million different things. And I tell people all the time, um, if, if other work, especially paying work, comes up, like, I'm like, hey, you know, go get your money. Just let me know ahead of time. I can reorganize. I can move stuff around. Because nine times out of ten, if I can, I can move up something we we're going to shoot. Say, and you know, if this is June and we we're going to shoot something in October, chances are those actors who are going to shoot those October scenes are going to be happy about getting their stuff on in and out of the way, so they can go on to the other 50 main things that they're doing. And um, it's just. You have one person that doesn't, that can't show up for whatever reason, trying to coordinate with, you know, eight other people, yeah. even four other people, sometimes takes coming back three weeks later, four weeks later, a month later. Because here it is, knock on wood, we're going to finish um, principal shooting uh, the second week of December. Oh, and really? And the original schedule had us finishing the, uh, like, mid-September. And oh, just well, stuff it's that, just a that little bit over. Just life, um, sometimes family medical stuff happened to some people that took them, you know, away for several weeks or, or just stuff happens and it just extends things. And we've talked about how it's a labor of love and everything. I just wanted to touch on that. But also, I kind of forget that we're friends. We kind of know each other. I know the project. Tell everybody out there what Party Girl is for anybody that's not familiar with it. For those that don't know what Party Girl is, Party Girl is a uh, superhero web series. It's about a girl, Rachel Buchanan, who, to get out from under her mother's midlife crisis, she decides to become a superhero. Learns that it's a whole lot, uh, there's more to it uh, than she could ever uh, imagine that it is. Uh, the closest thing that, that people kind of jump to when they see it or when they hear me talk about it or when they see visuals from it is Kick-Ass, and I guess that's kind of where you can jump to. It's something in that vein except not as much over-the-top language and, and violence and stuff like that. 
and you can sit up there with your kids and and watch it. It's actually it's a very enjoyable series. I I like to catch it whenever I can. I'm busy with crap all, all right, the time, yeah. but anyway. Now you've got a great cast. Uh, I believe her name was Kate Poole. She's Kate your Poole. She, she's your party girl for the second season. I always see her name, and I was like C A T, and I think like I'm, I guess I'm thinking like Final Fantasy stuff, mm-hmm. like Kate Sith or whatever. It is Kate Poole. Yeah, and she's a phenomenal. Yes, young she actor. is. She is is really really good. And I'm trying. I'm glad that I've got her now. Cause she's gonna blow up like sooner than later. So I'm just. Hoping that I can get through, because Party Girl is set for a set, like, three-season story. Shot season one, shot season two, and I'm hoping I can keep her around for, for season three. Hoping, you know, Hollywood doesn't, doesn't come calling. I got her. Say, she is phenomenal. Yeah, she is she, really good. I, I I can't really say enough. I, I was kind of very surprised. I was like, wow, mm-hmm. she's really good, and a lot of... She's really capturing all the emotions of the mm-hmm. character. Yes, her just her, her facials, just her delivery, just just the I think the attitude as well that she brings to it. Because that was one of the things we're shooting. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, um, there's a snippet online with uh, some stuff from uh, chapter four of season two, where mm-hmm. it has some hand to hand stuff, and it's not you know party girl doing it. It's it's Rachel, so it's right. you know, Kate. You know, you see her. You know, doing it, and I think that adds a bit of, of I guess, believability to. to How has she been scenario. adapting to all the stunts and everything? Um, she's been good. The first, even she'll even admit, like the first outing. <laughs> she probably feels uh, I, I could have done rough. that better. <laughs> but yeah, so the uh, the first uh, couple times out, um, and she, like I said, she'll even admit that it was a little bit rough. But um, she's uh, picked it up, picked it up well. So. Oh. And of course, uh, before we get, uh, you got www.torianfilms.com. Yes. You also have the YouTube channel. What's the YouTube channel? Uh, uh, that's just youtube.com slash torianfilms. Is Torian Films? Yes. Oh, I thought it was under Party Girl. Hmm. I clicked links. There's I don't a Party put... Girl uh, playlist. See, you need to subscribe. That way you can just do what yes. I do. Just People, go, oh, need, there it is. Boom. We need subscribers. Less less typing so yeah. I can just go ahead and just click just, on it. You know, just hit your bookmarks. I mean, because you can catch it either on the website, you can catch it on Facebook. Um, which of course is just an, an embed of you know YouTube link, and then we're on the Unlock Television channel on Roku. And for uh, everybody that uses Roku out there, we're on the Unlock Television channel, and then um, see, I didn't know that we're going to be on another channel, um, which I can't share the details right now. They're keeping it kind of low key until they launch. Ah, uh, because that was what I was going to ask you next. Damn it. <laughs> So they launch full on. Um, I believe like New Year's is when they're when they're going to drop. So we're going to be on a second one, and then so I'm I take it, that's what the because uh, I was going to ask about the cryptic posts of Party Girl season two TV locally, Seattle, no, that, Vegas, no, that's international. Else. Oh, good because that's what I was going to Mr. Cryptic post here three hours yeah, ago. No, that's I'll, something else. That's that's actually because and it's good. See opportunities are, when you get out from behind. Like I said, get out from behind the computer. You come to events. You do more than just tweeting at Facebook and get out there in front of the people, talk to people. There's a guy walking by the the table earlier today here, and um, he was talking about some some things that uh, mm-hmm. he can that he does now as far as shows and some international um, markets and stuff like that that he's in with some of the shows that he does. So I'm gonna talk to him about some some possibilities with. Um, with season two of Party Girl, like I said, uh, locally, and then um, he said he's got some some outlets possibly in in Seattle, Vegas, and international. So it's it's like I said, it's all about getting more eyeballs on Party Girl, and it sounds good. We got it. Sounds like really, you got something going you know, here. All right. Potential. We okay. Gotta, we got to talk to really fine tune the details and make sure um, we can get something that works. To just I'm just all I'm doing is just trying to do what I can to bring Party Girl to as many people. As I can, because I've got some people just doing some, you know, pardon my French here, some kick-ass work on this show, and I want everybody to see what they're doing. They are. Uh, you, you seem to have a really hard-working cast. Oh, yeah. I've I've been blessed so, so okay. much with the people that I have. I, I'm glad I could ask about that because I kind of I was like, oh, let me get the uh, information I need before. Like, what is this here? Hmm. Yeah, little, little nuggets that I'm throwing out there, kind of, and also to let uh, you know people know that I am, you know, you know, busting my hump to try to get people to to see their work. Yeah, and, and I was I was hoping you were going to bring some of the actors out, but of course they got paying gigs to go to, like you said. But you're out here working equally as hard, man. So okay, so we are going to be seeing more. Well, it looks like it is going to be getting out there. Okay, so 
We want to get what? you guys like on. We want to do it. We want to do it so bad, but we're always like, can we get everybody together? Can we get uh, out there? Dude, and do like this? the. What are y'all on the 23rd of this month? 23rd? I don't know. <laughs> find out, because that's like out. that's we're shooting some some big stuff for for um for season for the first episode earlier in the day, and then later on the evening some like crucial crucial stuff for chapter 12 of season two. I'll talk to the so, guys. Let's go do Party Girl. Let's go shoot something for Party Girl. Yeah, dude. Okay, so they're in. Like, see you in 23rd of November. <laughs> you want to see? You want to see Kate? Like dialed into some emotion and yeah, Ooh. what's going down? Like what we shoot. Of course, we're gonna have to like swear y'all to secrecy. So we have to be selective on what you guys. Oh, it's not like I would put it out on a web show or but, something like that. I may or may not be part of. <laughs> but yeah, what we're don't shooting, tell Jason crap. <laughs> what, we're shooting, what we're shooting then, man. Yeah, too. I, I think I think it'll be fun. So yeah. it looks like I got three cast members ready to go. So. <laughs> Uh, we've been. Oh yeah, like we like the organization between all of us is that great. Anyway, okay. So what are we expecting next from Party Girl? I want to know where, where's the character. Where do we see this character progressing? Uh, well, the whole thing in in season one, the tagline <clears throat> is uh, "I will make them understand." That was like, and just the idea that you want to be this person or you want to choose this path, and people may not necessarily like it, but you're going to make them understand why or make them understand why you deserve to go this route or why you want to go this route the whole thing in the whole thing in season two is is party girl rachel is torn between trying to be like the good daughter at home trying to be fix the friendship she has with her best friend she's trying to do the hero thing and from the events of season one party girl has blown up into this local you know celebrity superhero i mean she's she, she isn't doing the superheroes as much as she's doing, you know, birthdays. She's showing up at social events and stuff like that. She's blowing up that way, and she's torn between all those those things. And she's trying to figure out who am I supposed to be. At the end of the day, you know, if I can't do this, if I can't do this, if I can't do this, well, then who am I supposed to be? And that's the big, overarching, uh, I guess, theme or goal of the second season is to figure out. At the end of the day. Who is Rachel Buchanan supposed to be in this life? Oh, I want to see just like into the just fully into the role. But you know, that's just me as a viewer. I'm not gonna get into anything like that. I gotta I gotta keep remembering that I know things I'm familiar with it so I can tell everybody else to see it. Okay, so Torianfilms.com, you're also active on YouTube. Apparently there might be some TV locally yeah. coming up here soon. Yeah. Anytime you got something big, we would go ahead and push that out on our page, but hey, watch what these guys are doing. Because honestly, I am um, very, very excited about all the work coming out of Dallas. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hard working oh, yeah. people, it's, a lot yeah. of good projects mm -hmm. coming out here. It's like people need eyeballs yeah. on what's going on here. It's not the East Coast, it's not the West Coast. Mm -hmm. You know, Texas is really coming with, and you're one of the people that's, you know, in my opinion, you're at the forefront of this thing. I'm trying to. You've like been to at it for the, a uh, while. The uh, had a cut of the the first uh, trailer done that I was going to premiere at a um, an event that didn't work out. Um, and I'm recutting another one, and I wanted to. We gotta talk. I gotta talk to you about it because I, I want to have it like debut on like an upcoming episode. No way. Yeah. Okay. That's you did not tell me anything else. Okay. And it, uh, you know, like I said, we definitely want to talk to you. We want to keep. We want to keep talking. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can come out with we'll do a little something, uh, especially if I can get a lot of the cast members out mm -hmm. to actually shoot because we'd love to be part of it. I mean. Yeah. As people that watch it, yeah, sure, we'll go do something. Yeah. But anyway, guys, you want to check out torianfilms.com. This is BJ Lewis. BJ, thanks for joining me, Thank man. you. Thank you for Appreciate having me. Appreciate it. And Thank make you. sure you go and watch Party Girl. Yes. Party Girl. Party Girl. There's links all over the place in this video. Go Everywhere. watch it. Everywhere. Check go it. watch it. And, th uh, sp and I really want to talk to Kate Poole sometime. She is awesome actress. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Later, Luke. <laughs>